What is up, everybody? Hope everybody is having happy quarantining. I know a lot of people are having to work from home right now, so that means that a lot of people are sending emails. And I've noticed a lot of people actually don't even have an email signature set up. That's super easy to do. You can go into whatever email platform you use and set it up that way. Or you can have a little fun with it and make your own personalized email signature, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today. So first thing that I do is go into a website called Canva. It's just canva.com, C-A-N-V-A. It has a free service. I pay for the upgraded one, and the upgraded one is only, I believe, like $12 or $13 a month. But you can do it pretty much whatever you want to do for free. You can get whatever you want for free out of it. Now, once I get here, I am going to go into the search bar and I am going to type in email header. This is going to give me the template that I need to use, so I'll click that. And you can see it brings me to a page that has a bunch of templates already set up. So I'll scroll through here just so you can see. You can go in there and if you want and click one of those and change the verbiage on there, add whatever your work, your job, your information is and change the coloring a little bit too. But I'm going to start from a blank slate today so you can see how to do it and make it completely your own. So here is my blank slate. First thing I want to do is add a picture. So I'm going to show you these tools over here on the left hand side. We're going to be using these a lot and we'll go through those as we use them. But first thing that I need to do is get the upload one because I'm going to add a photo. So I've already got a lot of photos set up here. I'm going to go through, pick the one that I want, which is this one. And then I'm going to drag it over into the template and get it set up. If I have a picture on there, I like it to be in the far left hand corner just because I think it lines up a little better. So I'll take the time there, get it set in the size that I want. And then the next step is going to be to add my verbiage. So first thing I'm going to do is come up here. I'm going to hit over on that left hand side. I don't know if you saw me. I hit the text button and now I'm going to add a heading. And then this is basically going to be my signature. So I'm going to type out my name and then I'm going to move it up right in line to where my picture is. So again, this is my signature. I want it to be a little bit of a different font. So I'm going to go through and find the font that I like that fits my brand. And you can see that it has all the fonts laid out here and you can actually see them. But I want to use a specific one. So I'm going to go type it in and I use single light. So I'm going to type that in and it should pop right up. There it is. And I'm going to click on that. And now it's got the, the font that I want. I'm going to adjust it again because whenever I change the font, it kind of moves it around. Now I want to change the font size. So I'll go up top to that left hand side and click the down arrow and it has all the fonts there. As you can see, I went in and manually entered what size I wanted because they didn't have mine there. And I'll adjust it once again so it's in line with the top of my photo and now my signature is done. So we're gonna go over here and do that again at a subheading and this is gonna be my occupation. So what I'll do now is add in my job, my occupation there and I do digital marketing and social media management. So I'm going to type that in and get it all set up. There we go. And then I'll go through the same process as I did with my name, just highlighting it and changing the font and getting it the right size that I want so that everything lines up and looks pretty. So once again, I'll go up to the font. I want the same font as I had for my signature. So again, I'm going to go and type in single light and use that. Or since I've used it the last time, actually, it's already there. And then I'll just go change the font and then I'll put it up in there where it's all nice and pretty and lays together. Again, you might have to change the font and play around with it a few times to get it exactly what you want, but that's what's great about this having so many options and you being able to play around with it. Once I get that all set, next I am going to go down into this area and that's where I'm gonna put ways that you can connect with me. So I am going to come over here, add another heading, and this is where I'm going to tell people what's to what's below it. So I'm just going to put stay connected because I'm going to put all my social media handles down here. And I want this to be a little bit of a fun font. So I am going to come over here and put AC Real Adult because that's just a font that I like. I'll go down there and click it and then now it is all set. So once I get that centered and where I want it, I want it to pop a little bit more, so I'm gonna come over here to these options we have on the left and I'm hitting elements. <clears throat> now you can see there's all kinds of options. It's got featured, it's got one for coronavirus, so it stays relevant. Grids, shapes, 
all kinds of shapes and items and stuff that you can add on there to make it your own and add your personality. I'm going to hit this gradients one, which you can see again, it has all kinds of different options with fun colors that you can use. I'll scroll down just so y'all can see it, but I know exactly which one I'm going to use. It's just this little straight line one that kind of looks like paint and I am going to line it up right even with that stay connect. Now, right now it's laying on top of it. I want it to be under it so that stay connect pops. So what I'm going to do is come up here to the position and you can see it has that option backwards and I'm just going to hit it and it pushes that image to the back of stay connected. Another thing is I don't really love how the color fades like that. So, oh, well, you just saw me switch it from that flip. You can flip horizontally or verbal, uh, vertically, but I don't love the colors that are there. So you can see up top where the colors are. I'm, I switch the color by just clicking the color and then going to click the one I want. And now I'm going on that right hand side and going to change transparency. And I'm just going to make it a little lighter because I want it to be just a pastel pop of pink. I don't want it to be too much. You can make it as bold or light as you want. But now I feel that stay connected stands out a little bit more like I wanted it to. Now, once that is done, I am going to go down here. Oops. I'm going to go down and add all of my social media handles. So again, I added the subheading. Now I'm going to start typing in all the ways you can connect with me. So first thing I'm going to do is type in my web address here. So this is the first way I would want people to get a hold of me if they need to, or they can find out more about me. So I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to change the font. For these, I'm going to use the Arimo, A-R-I-M-O, if I can spell it right. Oh. Well, maybe I'll spell it right this time. Okay, there we go. So now I have my font. Once again, I'm gonna go adjust the font size and get it to where I like it. And then I'm gonna adjust it and just move it over to where I want. I want it to be centered right under that state connected. So from here, I'm actually gonna duplicate that writing and I'll tell you why. I want all my social media channels to be in the exact same format, font and everything. So now I can just go in here and type my Instagram handle and I don't have to worry about going and manually changing the font and the font size. So I'm going to do that one more time here. Here I'm going to add my Facebook name. So the full URL to, URL to that, facebook.com slash it's Brittany Renee. And then I will do that again one more time so that I can add my fourth and final channel, my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to type Brittany Renee here. And now you have all the social media platforms and know how to find me. So once again, I'll move those around, get them all even and pretty. But if you'll notice, if you look at these to the blind eye, you don't really know. So I'm going to show you how to make it di differentiate which social media channel is for which one. But before I do my website, I want it to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to go up here, the spacing once I've highlighted it, and I'm going to mess with the letter spacing and get it a little wider. And I feel like that makes it pops a little bit more. So again, now I'm going to go through and find ways to differ differentiate which one is Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So I'm going to go back over here to elements. And first thing I'm going to type in is Instagram. When doing that, a bunch of Instagram logos are going to uh, come up. You can look through and see all the ones that they have. I like this black one here. I just feel like it fits my brand, so that's what I'm going to go with. I'll shrink it down, and then I'm going to put it right in front of my Instagram logo. So now when people look at that, they know that's my Instagram uh, tag. And then I'll move that again and make it all pretty. I always like to keep everything all lined up and easy. All right, next one is going to be Facebook. So same thing, I'll go in that search bar, type Facebook. You can see all the ones that pop up. I'm going to go for that black one in the center because, again, it's what fits best with the brand and the look I'm trying to go for. So once again, I'll shrink it down, get it about the same size as I can. If I can't find it exactly just by eyeballing it, I'll layer them on top and then resize it so that they're very close in size. And then I'll pull it down, get it right even with my Facebook logo sorry, with my Facebook URL, so that again, they can see which one. And we will do that a third and final time for my YouTube. So I typed YouTube in. Here's all the YouTube ones that pop up. There's this black one here. It's a, I don't love that one. So I'm actually gonna go up and find a different one like this blue one and add it. Now, it's, you're probably thinking it's blue, it doesn't match. But I can go up here, click that blue, and then hit the black color and it changes color. So you have a way, few ways to kind of mess with some of those and make them your own. 
So same thing, I'll shrink it down, make it even and in line with the rest of the logos. And then now I have got my signature, email signature all set up and ready to go. You can add a lot more to it. You can make the background a different color and so on. But once you feel like you're finished, you can go over here to this download button. There's lots of options, download. You can share the link or email if you have somebody you're working with and you want their opinion before you download it. And a couple of other options. I'm through with it and I'm just gonna hit download. It gives you the recommended, recommended file type. And I'm gonna go down here and hit download. And now it's preparing my design. And just like that, it's done and it is saved to my home screen. So now I can go into my email platform and add it on there and have a pretty little email signature whenever I send emails. So if you give this a try, you change your email signature, let me know, guys. And if you want to see more videos like this of other editings, let me know. I'm happy to do it for you. All right, bye, guys.